Yo, what's up, guys? Today, we're watching Lab Rats with a special guest. Kian Carlisle. Hello. <laughs> and if you want us to check out more episodes of this show, then get this video to 10,000 likes. Subscribe immediately, or else we'll unsubscribe from you. So, we'll frost chase, bake brie, and submerge Adam. Oh, he's so he's the Elon Musk of this. Yeah, he's like if Elon was cool. This is like pre-Twitter Elon. He looks like if you gave Mark Wahlberg six inches. Leo, these guys are genetically engineered to handle these kind of climates. You're not. Leo's shirt is like the most like Walmart aisle thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker has the richest dad on the planet and still getting the Walmart clothing. Scientists don't make mistakes. I feel like the laugh track in this show is like three times louder than the volume of like any character <laughs> talking. Like they think this show is really fucking funny. Imagine if all of them were Vine booms instead of laugh tracks. Oh, and one of those bumper stickers on the back that says, I break for cows. The next generation of the human Gotta say it. Living, living in my, in my basement? basement? The way he says it is just so iconic. Like, it is one of the greatest line deliveries ever. Why? I thought the other guy was the main guy. I know! Leo's like the main character, but they show him fourth. He gets fourth with... The, the fucking music, music in this so show crazy. is pissing me off. It sounds like I'm at a European dance club right now. Like, You guys thinking what I'm thinking? Our, Our first, first mission. mission! I want a pet pig! <laughs> Dude, it's, just, it's funny it's, how unfunny the show is. It, it's so funny. It's like they make the joke and then the laugh track happens and then I laugh at the laugh track. The attempt at the joke is what's funny in this show. Sweet. Is it like a sauna? Like what? That's their capsules. That's where they eat. That's where they eat? Yeah, they just eat like pellets that fall down. This Elon cares about his kids just as much as the real deal. Will you watch Leo? I have a train to catch. Michelle Obama's living in my basement? Hey, Chase, you spilled something on your new suit. No, don't do it. Don't. Oh, my God. Oh, I can't with my this fucking guy. God. I can't with this fucking guy. Leo? 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 I like how he has, like, this HD footage of this. Did he, like, hack into this camera or something? Like, how That's does what he I'm hack? wondering. How did he get this footage? Roger. I... I think the train is on the other track. Please, oh my god, editor, Behind please you. make an edit of her getting Quit hit by the train. Leo, <laughs> 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 you're not like us. And I don't mean that in a bad way, we just have- You're a different race than us, Leo, sorry. <laughs> you get fourth billing. We're white, we get top billing of the fucking show. Yeah, I mean, Big D's on his way in his high-speed helicopter. What a weird nickname for your stepdad. Especially when he has a micropenis. penis. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I feel like he probably told Leo to call him Big D and Leo's just not old enough to understand. Leo's an innocent <laughs> child. The answer is simple. If Sally's on a train traveling- Oh, oh he's smart. That's his superpower. He works out at the library. And, and, and it was going- I like how dedicated the actress is though to this. She's like really dedicated to this scene. Well, that's like the the philosophy. It's like treat every role like it's like the most important role of your career. Like she is taking that to heart. And I think this probably was the most important role of her career. <laughs> that's really sad. <laughs> We put ourselves in danger for the sake of humanity. Bitch, you stood in a fucking train for like 20 minutes and did nothing. What are you talking about? She showed up like at the end of the group assignment and she's trying to take all the credit. We're all in this together. So is he gonna become a lab rat? Is that what happens in the show? Or By the end of the show, he gets a bionic arm and he gets this drip I'm wearing. If only Wile E. Coyote was here, he'd have a giant rubber band he could tie around two trees to stop this thing. <laughs> what a extremely <laughs> fuck up, bizarrely <laughs> specific <laughs> example. No way you're fucking referencing Wile E. Coyote. <laughs> Wait, that's it. Those fucking stupid cartoons. Guys, this is why we must all support the writer's strike. Unless you want everything to be like this. We better support those writers, okay? <laughs> We're just gonna ignore the fact that this did have writers. <laughs> What, they have superpowers? Did you not watch the intro? They're stronger than us, faster than us. And they're living in my basement? I, I think you only remember the last part. You just thought some random people were living in his basement and they had no superpowers. <laughs> <laughs> 
Guys, what's happening? The Lab Rats could have prevented that derailment in Ohio last year if they were there. Dude, they chose not to. The Lab Rats decided not to do it. They were cowards. First one back to the lab gets a food pellet smoothie. Food pellet. I told you, they eat pellets. Food pellet smoothie. And they're excited about it too. That's so fucked up. The show is, uh, it's worse than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. There's something weirdly mesmerizing about it. It like sucks you in. It's like hypnotizing. Kian, what the fuck does exoskeleton versus grandma mean? We gotta wait and see. I'm scared. Are preparing for the call. I thought he said the coal. One of you is gonna die. In other words, ka-ching. So is that his father? That's his stepdad. And and then the lab rats are like manufactured. Yes, the robot beings. Yeah. So can you imagine like being a stepchild and your your father gets like. Just creates a different child and gets along with that child better. Yeah, he made just a better version, yeah. But we actually learn later in the show that Davenport didn't make the kids. His brother made the kids and he stole them. What? What, what the fuck? His brother was gonna use them for evil. So he kidnapped them. Yeah, he kidnapped them to save him. That's fucked up. I know. Is Living in my basement? But then in season four, it's less iconic. They changed the intro, so it just goes to Leo. And it's like, the next generation of the human race is... Living on a bionic island. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what he's saying is way more insane in the second one, and yet the delivery is less insane. Oh, you should come and visit. Oh no, the, Leo's grandma comes? <gasps> it's my mother! Oh, 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 what the <laughs> fuck was that? Who are they? They are the staff! Child slavery, what? <laughs> You know, normally I wear a puffy hat and I yell things in Italian. Bonjour! That was the big Pack laugh. It up. That was Pack the it big up. laugh. We're done here. It's over. Nothing we'll ever do in our careers will be as funny as Adam saying bonjour. bonjour. No, 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 no handshakes. You're trying to steal his dad from him. Like, what? The, well, this is kind of weird. Oh, it's Dad Olympics. They're gonna be fighting. Yeah. That's more clever than what the actual episode will do. You, you are right. I forgot that the episode was called Exoskeleton Grandma or whatever. You're gonna be in it when we make the call. No, no, don't look at the camera. You're not allowed to look at the camera. Don't do that. Besides, there'll be plenty of other little things for you to do. Yeah, like stand and point, Vanna. Leo's kind of rude, I'm not gonna lie. Leo's mean. I don't know if I fuck with this guy. What is the Master Chef preparing anyway? Why is this grandma so nosy? Well, she is such an asshole. And by creaky, I mean time tested and full of experience. She falls over, breaks her hip. <laughs> yeah, I'm cooking! <laughs> Which I always do. Laugh! Laugh! I feel like I'm starting to laugh at this show, but I feel like it's like a group psychosis type of thing because the laugh track- It mesmerizes you. The laugh track comes at such a repetitive interval that it like hypnotizes you. It's like by the end of the show, you will be the biggest fan of Lab Rats of all time. There's no way to escape it. How do you get in front of me so fast? You speedy little grandma, you. <laughs> 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 she looks mortified. She looks horrified. She is greatly disturbed by this child. Exotic, but useful. Are these investors wondering why children are presenting the information to them? That's a really good question. That's like... Like one of the kids is wearing like a polo shirt with a suit jacket. The other one's wearing a shirt with a fake tie on it. Yeah, does, do they not have nicer clothes? You know, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's about time for the- I think it's about time I stopped making children and announce my new product. Yeah, he's literally- he's like selling weaponry to the government and a 12-year-old walks out to present it. You know what? We'll call you back. Why are they <laughs> reacting like that? It's gonna get me through the screen! Bro, you're on a fucking Zoom call! This episode- it's kind of funny. I don't know. Maybe we've gone crazy. I, th I think we've experienced group psychosis. Something must have gone haywire with its power source when I reversed the controls. Okay, so just so you all know, Chase is supposed to be the smartest human being in the entire world. And there's not a single episode of the show where I believe that. I feel like Leo is smarter than he is. Half the time, Adam's smarter than he is. My mother is upstairs. This lab is supposed to be like a thousand feet underground, so how the hell did she hear it up there? Well, everybody knows that moms are the real superheroes, so she knows she probably used her motherly powers. <laughs> oh, God.
Gosh, golly what? good heavens. What? What's about to occur? It's gonna kill the grandma! Exoskeletons versus grandma! Yes! Now that's a WWE show I'd watch. What are Adam and Bree doing? You mean our chef and trainer? Why didn't she just say like they're his kids? I know, right? It's a very weird plot choice of the episode. Or like say they're Leo's friends. They're our indentured servants. <laughs> leave there's a door just go out the door <laughs> yeah she just hides behind the couch right in front of the door he was destroying our house and you're tossing pillows at it well they're called throw pillows they're called throw pillows yeah i'm not gonna lie dude some of the puns in this show are low-key good like throw pillows that's the fucking funniest thing i've heard in my entire life let's be real the funniest thing you've heard in your entire life Nobody lays a hand on my grandson. <laughs> Grandma! Let's go! Grandma versus Grandma. Exoskeleton! Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's why the episode's called Exoskeleton versus... Because that one 10 second moment where she was courageous, we're going to name the entire episode after that. Pick up the hat! Hello? Isn't one of them really strong? Can't he just, like, go up and punch it? This episode is about Leo and... and the other lab rat guy, okay? What? What? When did he get the shield? When the fuck did he get the shield? <laughs> Adam was just sitting there doing nothing. You have super strength. Bree has super speed. You could have just like moved it somewhere else. They're like, sorry, we need to make sure they resolve their character arc. Uh, they are uh, uh, my brother's kids. Uh, that I adopted. That's foreshadowing. Oh. That's actual foreshadowing. This show has actual foreshadowing? Yeah. That's fucking insane. It's kind of insane. Cockadoodle crunch. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, he is so much older now? Three, two, one, go! Ew! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's actually kind of funny. Only the smartest man in the world could devise that point. It was so ingenious. Lick my hand. So you guys want to hang out at my house after school? We okay, so this kid is named Marcus, and he's secretly evil, and Leo's the only one he knows. So Leo is trying to prove to them that their classmate Marcus is evil throughout season two. Well, I'm getting vibes of the condescending rich kid. I already hate him. I didn't even know he's evil. What? He can control doors? He has the power to control doors? Is that his one superpower? He's just like doorman. <laughs> I can control every door in the tri-state area. Close them, open them, that's it. What? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, he doesn't know. holy he shit, doesn't know. holy Bro, shit. The, the fact that I know there's just like two interns standing opening those doors for that shot. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I swear to God, I could see the shadow of an arm closing the door. My teleporter can transport any object anywhere. Every episode of the show is he invents something and it goes wrong. He's just a grown up Jimmy Neutron. If you go in a teleportation machine and it deconstructs you every molecule one by one by one, and then puts you back together in a different place. Are you technically the same person or are you not the same person? You're a different person for sure. You're a different person. It's technically a murder and give birth machine. <laughs> a murder and give birth machine is such a great way to phrase it. This thing could put me anywhere on earth in a nanosecond. Faster than you, Bree. Ha! Did they get worse at acting over the course of the show? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Faster than you, Bree. Ha! Oh, they're gonna tell him. <laughs> oh, that's fucking hilarious. That's fucking insane. That's what insane. the fuck? They don't even know where they sent her because the globe is still spinning. Imagine she's never seen in the entire show again. Like she just, she's dead. She dies after. They sent her to like fucking Siberia. She comes back in like the last episode. She has like a full beard. <laughs> Why does she have a beard? But I didn't even get to say goodbye. <laughs> oh well. The AI in the walls hates Tasha. Yeah, because he wants to fuck Davenport, right? He's he's jealous. <laughs> What's an evil barbecue? No way. Is that like the entrance to his basement? And it's like, it's like a penal code in their city that if you're a bionic, you have to live in a basement. Hey guys. <laughs> what, what if they tell him? He's like, I can find a new wife. That's not too bad. <laughs> I'm so irresistible. It's so funny because it's like the most basic video editing effect you can do. It's like, that's the first thing everybody learns how to do. They just spent like 12 minutes in After Effects to get this. Dad, it is going to be so epic when I capture Adam, Bree, and Chase. Can you imagine being just a naturally evil looking kid? <laughs> <laughs> I'm imagining that's what they put in like the casting like thing. Looking for a naturally evil looking child. 
Bro, this looks like the iCarly set, bro. The shape of the studio. You tell me this isn't the iCarly set, bro? Whoa. Graphics? What the? Bionicle? Is it making a real Bionicle? That's so cool. No fucking way, dude. You know, in comparison to all the visual effects we've seen so far in this show, that That's is- That's not bad. This is where the entire budget of the season went. The fact that their, like, super weapon is taking more than 30 seconds to kill a 12-year-old is not a very good sign. You should be killing 30 12-year-olds in one second with a real super weapon. <laughs> we just have to figure out a way to get her back here without turning her into Tasha- Tartar. If you have to spin the globe to teleport them, that means that she's like at least on Earth. But like, could she be like a thousand meters underwater? Like, what is the limitations of this? There's like a 25% chance she's on land. They send her into Mariana's trench, man. <laughs> you have to let me go. Deal? Yeah. Deal. Why does he talk like that? He's such a fuck boy. He's trying like so hard. Oh, he's on cameo, by the way. What? That's awesome. Because I'm clever, and clever beats strong any day. But that's not true. That's just not true. The clever character in this show is like the least capable. There goes pizza night. <laughs> this show's hilarious, bro. This show's hilarious. He said it in such a serious tone. That was fucking funny. This is, I'm watching Spider-Man 2 all over again, bro. And Hal Sparks is in it. Cool Spidey outfit. Thankfully, Adam was smart enough to call my cell phone and tell me you guys accidentally teleplanted me. But it's teleported. Tell us someone who cares. Everyone knows what teleporting is. You don't have to be a scientist to know that, understand that very basic concept. Tell us someone who cares, bitch. Tell a what? Uh, I've never heard of teleportation before. What he's trying to say is, we owe you an apology. He literally is the smart- he's smarter than him. He literally is smarter than him. No, none of them thought to call her cell phone. That's what I spent like three hours saying. Adam is the smartest one. Are, are they all just casually trespassing right now? What is- how are they not, like, drawing suspicion? There's like seven of them. <laughs> standing outside of this guy's house. The touchpad controlled that dissolving wall. Oh, right. And then all the little elves came out and did a moon dance around the bonfire. Why do they, like, not trust him so much? I know! Like, this is fucking insane. <laughs> like, they've seen so much crazy shit. They're literally bionic children and they don't believe him. They're so mean to him. Wait. He knows. Does he, knows. he know, Does question he mark? Know? He knows. Does he, know? he knows. Oh my god, his brother didn't die. He was alive the entire time. So that's their brother. That's... It's time I take matters into my own hands. Bro, his hair is crazy! <laughs> Why is he so edgy? He looks Holy like a shit. fucked up Jeremy Renner. If you guys want us to watch more Lab Rats, get this video 10,000 likes. And check out uh, Keen's channel down below. Uh, and yeah. Peace. Alejandro Paredes, Asmus Bioga, Atomic Leon, Bento, Kamlu, Communism is when people's iPhone, Cosmic Dega, Crystal Bunny, Daryl Herb, James, Frozen Spaghetti, Gabriel Granados, Gub Stargazer, Gummy Brain Rot, Gunny Snow Jonathan, Helio, I Love Spilling the Milk, Isaiah Alfred, Kamui, Night VDB, Lilac Moon, My Artistry, Master Nate, Misty Skies, Native, Obama Gaming, Omega Waffles, Puffles, Remuel, and Steven Sanchez, Terrence Sills, Useless Grunt, Bell Explicit, Wyatt Lime, Yahir Sanchez.